What is up, guys? Are you here? Felt like Unlimited, the holster guy. And uh, it's 63 degrees in New Hampshire today. I'm sitting outside. I was working, but I felt like doing a video because I did something yesterday that I normally wouldn't do. So you guys know I like to buy stuff and wheel and deal and this and that. And I met a, a lady online who had a snap-on mirror. And uh, it's $150 brand new. I offered her 40 bucks. She had it up for 50. She took it, so I went there. And uh, ended up getting um, four jack stands for 20 bucks, a U joint and uh, ball joint press for three dollars. And uh, she had a couple of things on her property, and she's moving to Hawaii. And she's like, "Yeah, I gotta get rid of them." So we started chatting, and I bought a boat. I don't know why I bought a boat. I already have a boat. I bought a boat. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it yet. And funny part is, is uh, she's about a mile and a half from me, if you notice. <laughs> yeah. So, it has flat tires. Well, let me just say this. It had a flat tire. Because by the time it came home, there were no tires. I literally drove it a mile and a half, pretty much on the steels. So, I'm going to tractor supply tonight, and I'm going to go get some. And uh, I'm going to redo the frame a little bit. I really don't know, but I bought it for the sole intention of selling it. And I got a buddy that's going to come take a peek at it on uh, Saturday. But uh, it is a 1986 or 84, I don't remember, Baja Sun Sport 164. You can see that came out of New Jersey. It was last registered in 08, apparently Massachusetts in 06. But uh, this is a nice little speedboat. It needs some um, upholstery. If I keep it, I'm just gonna fix it up, but that is actually not that bad. So, no motor. Didn't, whoever had it prior just took the motor out. No big deal, so still got the fuel lines, still got all the connections, so I will probably sell it without a motor. But, yeah, okay. I will, um, I bought a boat. I still don't know why I bought a boat. But it seems like a little fun project. A hole in the water, you just be throwing money. But again, it was a good deal. Couldn't pass it up. And it's the sole intention of flipping it. So we'll see. I don't care if I make much on it. As long as I break even, that is, uh, you know, break even minimum. But it's absolutely muddy today now that everything's melting. But yeah, I can, uh, couldn't pass it up. I grabbed the ram and uh, threw the ball on it. <laughs> I just pulled it down the road. Luckily, it had tires when it was on the asphalt. And my road is three miles of dirt road. So, yeah. It worked. But I bought a boat. I still don't know why I bought a boat. But it's okay. So, there's that. And I started the powder coating stuff. And uh, you guys know I bought a... Um, or not, didn't buy. I traded super cool gentleman uh, two Outside the Wasteman holsters for a 5.7 uh, Hemi. Uh, it needs work, no big deal, doesn't bother me whatsoever as I'm trucking through snow and ice. So um, I noticed it had the wrong valve covers on it that I wanted. I wanted the valve covers that are strictly coil-ons. These ones are coil-on and wires. I don't want those. So I bought some on Facebook Marketplace. And right after I sent the guy the money, I completely realized that these were the exact same ones I already have. So. I just bought a second set of valve covers that I don't need. So, with the powder coat stuff going on, and my dog's in here, I set up the oven, and I set up a little booth. Bam. Check those out. Metallic purple. So I sandblasted them pretty good, brought them down to the bare metal, and uh, they look pretty good. I'm actually happy with it, and while I'm up here, this is uh, this is that mirror I originally went to go see. So it's like two feet long. So I got it for 40 bucks. But yeah, so these, I decided to go ahead and powder coat. So I was like, huh, let's do it. So I got them up for sale right now. And uh, yeah, they came out awesome. Right, buddy? But could be happier. Couldn't be happier. And then I decided to frame back in 2011. I was in a, uh, a magazine, Super Street, 
it's my uh clips right there so decided to frame that i'll hang it up in the shop trying to figure out where to do it but again i'm super happy about these and the fact i bought a boat i already have a boat so like i said probably going to sell that one but i'm going to fix it up a little bit if it doesn't sell because whatever i put into it i'm going to add that on to the price so we'll see maybe it'll be gone saturday maybe not but i'm putting uh wheels and tires on it uh if it doesn't leave by Saturday. Once I do the wheels and tires, then it's going to get a new uh, jack lift in the front, new uh, trailer lights, and a uh, new harness. And then other than that, I know an upholster. I'll give it to him. He can redo the seats, or I'll do it. I don't care. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't pass that up. So there's always ways to make money, even in the Kydex business, even though I'm not doing anything Kydex with these. But, again, look at those. Ooh, pretty. I thought they came out good. Came out real good. So my my pool table is now a table. But anyways, new molds in from Pale Horse. You guys are gonna see all this stuff. So I kind of I just wanted to show you that I, I I spent money I didn't need to spend on a boat that I didn't need. But again, it's like an investment property. I bought the boat so I could sell the boat. So I'll keep you posted on it because I, I like I said I don't want the boat. But the more I look at it, the more I want the boat. So I'm in this dilemma. So what do you think? Keep the boat or sell the boat? I don't know. It'd be cool. A little, the little paint job. I don't know. But we'll see. I'll do something. I'll keep you posted, though. <laughs> Enjoy.